their now lifeless body, your denial does not change their reality. Your hope that they lived a happy life before you wish them dead does not offer them comfort. You know taste. They knew suffering. But their suffering is easy to ignore in the checkout line where their bleeding bodies are nowhere in sight. Confessions of a senator. We sit in the Senate so proud and so male, so straight and so Christian, so old and so pale. We men sit around and control women's choices. We don't even bother to listen to their voices. We cover up sex crimes, accuse the accusers. We paint as victims the actual abusers. We disbelieve science so our friends can have more. More yachts and more mansions, but hey, fuck the poor. They never made a substantial campaign contribution. We work for the billionaires, lobbyists, institutions. So they don't vote us out, we keep them too tired to care, too busy to pay attention, too scared of warfare. We gerrymander districts, suppress registrations to minimize dissent from the non-Caucasians. If a senator tries to shatter our well-maintained system, we denounce it in unison, shouting, socialism. If our base starts to doubt us, we just have some fun. Look, over there, someone's taking your guns. <laughs> Just a drink. A helpless female, held against her will, penetrated and now pregnant, held captive, no chance of escape. The baby grows for months and months inside her belly. The mother, ready to love her belly, ready, no, that too. The mother, ready to love her baby, despite her circumstances, delivers a baby boy. The baby, only longing for the comfort of his mother. The mother, only longing to be near her new son. The baby feels himself pulled away further and further until he can no longer see her ever again. The mother, helplessly watching, bellows and bellows for days and days in search of a baby who will never return. The son stands in a dark crate, malnourished, alone. Soon his pale flesh will sit on a plate. His skin, no longer attached, will cover your hands when they get cold. The milk his mother produced to nourish him and help him grow sits in your cup. Right. Mm. Where did you think a bison got their protein? A frustrated vegan's haiku. All plants have protein. Every single fucking one! Without exception! <laughs> A narrow definition of life. I'm sorry, I know it sounds catchy. A name designed by its own title to be above dispute, but you don't get to be pro-life. Not until you are pro-healthcare and pro-education. You can't call yourself pro-life and be okay that we leave the homeless to sleep on the street. If you are pro-war, pro-death penalty, and anti-gun control, then you'll need a new title. This one is full of more holes than our children who we left to see we decided to protest to protect with only thoughts and prayers. Mm. If you support family separation and locking children in cages, if you discriminate against people with a different identity or sexuality than yours, if you are okay that we poison the water of Flint and Standing Rock, then your idea of life is narrow and empty. Until you support life after birth in all its colors and varieties, until then, you are simply pro-fetus. When so many wanted you to stay home for Ruby Bridges, armed with only your books and your unbelievably strong determination, you walked. The street was lined with the angriest white faces you had yet to see, shouting things more vile than you could imagine. Still, you walked. Hatred, fear, and ignorance stood side by side, arm in arm, to block your path. But you walked. Bombarded with slurs and threats of death, yet you walked. A black baby doll was placed in a coffin, an unmistakable sign of the danger ahead, and you walked. With more courage than I can imagine, facing depths of discrimination I can't even begin to comprehend. 
on you walked, without a whimper, without a tear, when you were only six, you walked. Mm. The surprised look on their severed heads was priceless. In an article about a voter proposition asking that chickens get cushier lives of still being crammed together, but without cages, a highlighted farmer refers to his place as Chicken Disneyland because of the toys he started to hang for them to play with. How sweet, how kind it must be. Your memories of Disneyland must be flashing through your head. The cool sights, the fun sounds, all the things to enjoy. The way your children got so excited as they stood in line for Big Thunder Mountain, the screams of joy, the hands in the air, all the smiles until the climax of the ride's end, the magic captured forever for you on film as the ride concludes decapitating each one. A small price to pay, you remind yourself, for the joy on their faces. You are glad you didn't ruin their day by giving away the secret of how the ride ends beforehand. You'd go back, you insist. If only you had more kids to send on the rides. Mm. The finish line is simply a mirage and I'm tired of running. Nice guys finish last. Or maybe nice guys don't view life as a race to be won. A competition where the goal is to step on and leap over anyone in our path. Leaving others trailing in our furious fumes might not, in fact, be the best we can do. When will we realize that stopping to help others does not slow us down? Because the track is a damn circle, and there was never a need to start a stopwatch. <laughs> your order will be waiting at the second window. Have it your way. That is, if your way is brown muscle tissue, capillaries, and blood, with a mass order of intense confinement, fear, and death, that and a side of fries. Ah. An order of Jesus hold the love. Sometimes the very same people who shout the loudest about their Christianity have a very different memory of the Bible than mine. Ignore the sick, my neighbor is not my problem. Wait, I thought the Bible said love. I hate the gays. Strange, I could have sworn it was love. America first. I don't remember Jesus drawing lines nor picking favorites. Build walls, keep them out. But wasn't there something about whatever you do to the least of these, you do to me? Let the poor fend for themselves. Weird, my recollection was love. Kill your enemies before they kill you. I, I was certain it was love. I guess I could grab a Bible, glance back, refresh. It has been a few years. Perhaps my memory is fuzzy. Thank you so much. I have two more and then we'll let it rain. Death discounted. <laughs> Rows of bodies chopped or browned, endlessly piled and conveniently priced for your selection. A frozen graveyard to entice your taste buds. Whose young limbs look the tastiest, the most tender? Whose body comes the cheapest? Maybe death will arrive with a coupon. Buy one, part, buy one body part, get the next for 50% off. I guess death has its price. Today it is $3.95 per pound before the coupon takes effect. All right, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure being up here. One final thing to leave you with. And then Black Rain will come up here and that was all. Uh, it's a pleasure, again, sharing the stage with so many amazing folks, all amazing folks up here. My final poem of the night is called, We Both Got an F on Our Animal Eating Test. Vegans are weird, or so I've heard. Through overblown infatuations with protein, talks of celestial powers bringing animals into existence for that very reason, man's arrogant claims of superiority. Don't be naive and ignorant, blinded by sentiment. Animals are to eat, they tell me. Let's include a simple computation as we examine this argument. Start with 5,000, the number of mammal species, rounded down for simplicity. Now, mammals aren't alone, we need to add in birds. So 10,000 species with feathers, plus 5,000 hairy bastards. Now, math class is just a shady memory in my distant past, but I think I can handle this one. 15,000 animals. Oh wait, we need reptiles. 
that's 9,000 species there. Shit, I've got to carry a one? Uh, uh, 24,000. I'm done. Fucking fish! 27,000 of them! 7 and 4 is 11 once more, 2 twos with that one, 54,000. My math teacher would be proud, if only I could remember her name. Amphibians! Those weird motherfuckers who can't just pick a home? 7,000 species still to add. 4 and 7, carry the 1. Damn, where's my calculator? Change the 5 to a 6. 61,000. Insects? You've got to be kidding me. Do they even count? 2 million? At least we get those zeros. And that's 2,061,000 animals in the world, and you eat what? Four? Cow, pig, chicken, turkey? Okay, maybe you eat duck, crab, deer, walleye, carp, salmon, trout, tuna, lobster, shrimp, rabbit, lamb. I can still count that on my fingers and toes. Uh, perhaps you tried turtle once, alligator or squid. I'll even add in an extra 10 for any I might have missed. Let's round that up to 30. Maybe, just maybe, you've eaten 30 species. 30 out of 2,061,000. I don't need long division to tell me that's not even close to 1%. Wait, you said I was silly. You went on and on about protein. You said God gave you animals to eat. You're slacking. So wash down your double cockroach horse burger with organic llama milk. Dip your blue jay wings in delightful gecko sauce. Serve your orca salad with shaved donkey on the top. Skunk jerky, kangaroo sliders, guinea pig and spider stew. Animals are for eating, you sentimental fool. Beagles, bats and beavers, baked or barbecued. Camels, cats, canaries, and a creamy casserole. Go ahead, tantalize your taste buds. Crunch, munch, chomp, slurp, chug, gulp. I'll wait. Or maybe not eating animals? Isn't that weird after all? Thank you so much. Thank you. The best time to write is... The best place to write is... Yeah. The best people to write are... Us. Yay! Um, how long are you going to need to set up? Like, oh, set up? Yeah, for a best. Okay, so our next performer is the current champion of the Sword Fight uh, Competition Showcase. For those of you who do not know, Sword Fight is Right Knight's uh, answer to Slam. We kind of incorporate some performance elements to it. Um, take out, you know, all the not drama. I don't know. Um, kind of put character work into it. Make people really get behind the characters that are performing. Um, yeah, so uh, you're in for a treat. Please welcome Black Rain. How y'all doing tonight? Woo! My name is Black Rain. I come to sprinkle a little bit. It's all about expression. To be is to exist. But existing without purpose feels like it. That's living without personal growth. Unfulfilling of our ancestors' hope. So I made up my mind to be the next generation. The generation of belief for its inception of faith that's incubated in our speech from the roots through the trunk to the branch of each leaf. The emotions of overflowing possibilities swell the heart, constricting doubt, fortified by determination. I want to be the next generation. Get it? Where bullying is trampled by the hooves of security. Indifferences make, shift, shape, form, prosperity. Disillusioned by charity. The confirmation? Human parity. 
Let me hear you say worthy. You are the next generation. See, my words can test all obstacles. My efforts break down barriers of impossible. Building me this platform I call practice. You ask practice? Well, they say repetition breeds permanent. So I say AI was earning it. Practice. You need that when you're trying to be the next generation of movers. Shakers, givers, replacers, seizers of opportunity. That's everlasting foundation makers who cast seeds upon good soil, bringing forth fruits of inspiration. Let's teach those to be the next generation. I mean, the creation of a new hybrid language that extinguishes the flames of suicide. Manifesting an embracing of individuality. In reality, sublime penetration. For I'm trying to be the next generation. A force that compels one to succeed. Reaching, ascending beyond limitations. Simplifications of complex matters. Disbursement of chatters. Carrying the cures for cancers. Redirecting these monetary answers because mankind is the beneficiary of destiny. So I'm asking you, matter of fact, I challenge you, each one, teach one, to be the next generation. This generation next, y'all. Thank, thank you, thank you. We must strive, strive. That's, that's what I try to tell myself every day when I wake up strive, even when I don't want to. Thank you, sir. I said I was going to move it, but I didn't move it. This <laughs> next piece, I had to wake up and realize that I am someone. So I had to get out of my mind, that dark place that I know y'all share with me, we all go through, doubt and everything like that. So I simply told myself, you got to move on, black man. So pack your bags and go. But keep one thing in mind. You may have to return in time. Damn. To shake your enemy's hand. Maybe to learn what then you didn't understand. See, to find all that was lost. To try to repay debts no matter the cost. You gotta move forward, black man. To a new and unfound land. Where an order is yours. Man, it's in demand. We've all gotta try to move on, black man. With our hearts at ease and our minds enhanced, to battle deceit and animosity that comes with time and chance. That's why it's important for us to move on, black man, but keep our Lord first. Yeah, I know sometimes it's confusing and then sometimes it hurts, but we just keep getting caught up, obeying our thirst. Y'all remember what old boy used to say? Got it, got it bad. I got it worse, but I refuse to not let my light shine before I leave this earth. Yeah, so when we do move on, black man, let's walk with our shoulders back and our heads high. Let's show them we're not ignorant, brothers. So I can't deny is the only reply. Show them hatred, it don't go through your, flow through your veins. But it's respect and dignity that you're trying to regain. It's time to move on, black man. But remember what home is. And let's be more than obligated in the duty, which is a blessing of having to raise our kids. I'm going to tell you, we need to teach the tender little boys to be strong, yet sincere. To believe in himself. To overcome his fears. Let's show the precious little ladies how to give honor to thee. Then there'll be symbols of compassion and positivity. Matter of fact, let's show the black woman that we can be everything good when it's perceived we're irresponsible and don't do what we should. Matter of fact, the woman in your life right now, don't matter the color, make her see that you can be the definition of her man. 
With her tears of sorrow, you compromise and understand. Yeah, you can be romantic and still remain stern. But all her needs, wants, and desires, you must be willing to learn. Make her see that you're her friend and her heart you will not break. You have to make her realize that in you, she has a soulmate. We're moving on, black man. So lay down that gun. So no questions will be asked. Oh my God, what have I done? It might sound crazy, but if you blink, violence in your eyes, it'll be gone. You need to take the hand of your brother, any color, and sing a peaceful song, at least try. We're going to keep moving on, black man. Put down that crack heroin, throw away that coat. Because brighter days is going to come and show us all signs for hope. Man, I'm telling you, seek help if help is what you need. You don't have to bet it. Just a simple please. And that doesn't mean getting on your knees. Just stay focused on that man in the mirror. Then the beauty of life's purpose will become ultimately clear. See, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Tonight, on the stage at the outpost, it took me a while as a black man to understand that God is grand, and for your life and my life, he has a plan. No weapon formed shall prosper because we're in his hand. But it's ultimately up to us to make that stand. So if you're with me, move on, black man. Let's I move on, black man, yeah. Hey, man, I gotta give it up for inspiration for those guys in yourself. Like Rock Kim said, you gotta move, wow. Because that's the creators. He took that. And he reigns on my life. That's where the rain comes from. You know what I'm saying? Because I trust in a purpose. But in the metaphoric reality of it, if, imagine it, it raining darkness, blackness in your life. You better have some faith that you're not going to fall off a cliff, run into a wall, do something disastrous. You know what I'm saying? So black rain, is, it means a whole lot to me. I hope you're all feeling me right now. But this next piece, oh, maybe, oh, I'm going you. in because my heart is, is puffing right now. We all were made for expression. Never forget that. Catch this feet. next piece is called Catching Feelings. <clears throat> Don't get it twisted with sensitivity. Ralph Trash Bomb. Yeah. There are levels to my sentient nature. Layers upon layers of testosterone laminated endorphins that emit and radiate vibes, pulses of awareness, multifariously blended with aromatase to counterbalance my macho chi, stabilize my chakra, alignment of the seventh parallel, placing me in a dimension causing me to feel this man of color I am you man I stand on currents of passion I've cried tears everlasting gut busted twisted from laughing rage remorse to ridicule I'm emotional sights smells Sounds, sensations so profound, and yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of my doubt, for it's a struggle within and a struggle without. Yet, juvenescent joy is laid by my path. Still, I stumble over frustration, I tussle with confusion, interventions, and intrusions, bewildered by this bravery putting me to endure the wickedness of collusion. Man, my head hurts from squinted eyes, trying to block the glare of illusion, for it is only false evidence appearing real. I say fear is false evidence appearing real. Merely a facade, a veil, worn to cover the face of temptation, 
lurking with the intent to steal your heart, casting it into incarceration, locked down, dropped down, submerged beneath guilt and grief, burrowing through misconceptions and disbelief. So my mind, body, soul, I bequeath. I touch a page in the book of life, Braille. I scream for the fight, I yell, which tip the scales, held in the hand of the bakra, slave driver, oppressor, yes sir, these feelings they fester, so I rebuke and release pressure. I'm emotional. Catch a feeling, y'all. Peace. Uh, I hope you feel it. It's a lyric from a song that I wrote, Miss Erica Foster. This is for you. Don't get caught up in that he said, she said, because it's all controversy. See, God blesses the one who minds their own. Lord have mercy. We all fall victim of it, expressing our concerns, but sometimes intervention can be abrasive and friction and burn, which in turn, you get the conflict. Mostly over nonsense. Misinterpretation leads to altercation. Sometimes your friends will turn foes. And family ties may sever. Gotta let them go. But beware, they might be miserable. Man, I swear they hold grudges to the bone. They never leave it alone. I try to tell them, stay out your feelings and catch this realness. Ah, oh, but it must be hitting close to home. So black rain, I try to maintain in my own lane. Stay minding my own. And keep in mind, we all have similar issues. Some may be minor, some major, but some like to misuse, which is misguided nature. They take kindness for weakness, try to turn inches to miles. Always need, never helping with that fake ass smile. Backstabbers, player haters, leeches, snakes, and rats spread dissension, recruit intentions. They stay on the attack. So out of sight, out of mind, I try to stay mind in mind. Then I fall back in position with my loved ones and children. Keep it moving slow motion, no time for stress, no commotion. Always trying to stay floating above that bullshit they be promoting. Cautious who you're provoking. Short fuses, explosion. It's the quiet ones that get more vicious than Logan. Black rain is my status, mind in mind is the slogan. Through all the pain I've been coping, understand I'm proposing. Remain strong on your own. Because these motherfuckers out here, they won't leave you alone. That's why I maintain in my own lane, stay minding my own. I don't have no time for the stress. The pressure can bust pipes in your chest. I'm minding my own. And guess what? No time for those games. A flicker quickly turns to flames. And that's minding my own, man. I'm about to give it out there tomorrow. Appreciate y'all. The next piece, I'm just gonna write into it. Hope I can finish it up. But keep in mind, keep an open mind about this. I'm always in a hybrid state of mind. Yes, I'm fresh out the chamber. There's several clans of a dying breed, and we are the sole remainders. I hit hard like a pop. Come follow my creed. I plant a seed for tomorrow. It should be instinctive to breathe. But sometimes these suffocating memories, they often visit my dreams. I wake up in cold sweat from never in the screams. I tried to cover my ears, but my heart continued to listen. It was pumping pain through my arteries, and part of me was missing. Division of my mind, body, spirit, and soul. But lethal blows was on my foes along these desolate roads. But it left me to search for answers for my thesis while I'm fitting, puzzling, crumbling pieces. I wrote a lifelong letter. Hope you get a chance to read this. Now I was a black child walking through the streets of the ghetto while deceptive lies was being told by the sons of Geppetto. Stripped of my innocence, I reminisced days before the black rain. I closed my eyes and felt the sunrise. That's when my joy came. Now, can you picture black rain in the mist of the purple haze? I'm young Frankie Beverly. I lived my life in a maze. There was many tips to escape. But who can I run to? To fill this empty space. There's trouble up ahead, but this is the path for me. These principalities, man, I can't turn back. So I encrypted my strategy. I'm better prepared for attack. 
There's different levels of the game and these variables change. We're all mortal, flesh and blood. No one knows how much time remains. Until the selector comes down, my time is borrowed. So I'm going to remain strong on, my, strong on my throne and cope with the sorrow. Now I used to fall into the darkness until I learned how to fly. My mama cried so many tears it's going to scar her eye. Seeing a being around my reason, purpose driven, I'm still breathing. If the good die young, then it's death and achievement. I'm still grieving over my cousin Peanut. So many countless others. We have moments to live, seconds to die, with some of this pain was smothered. When I was eight, I lost my best friend in the house fire. These little poems were still in bombs just to get me higher. Don't judge me, I was a runaway. Yes. Keep living. Keep striving. I told you. This next piece. There's sometimes I just don't know which way I should go. There's times I can barely see what's right in front of me. Man, I'm so lost. I need direction like most of us do. Expressways, we live on them. We walk up those avenues. Who lives on the boulevard? Don't you cut me off. I'm minding my own life, but now I'm running late. I hit the brakes. Life is life. Fast lanes on highways, speed bumps, sharp turns and dead ends, one ways, detours, through these concrete jungles. Sometimes it makes me wonder how I keep from going under while traveling. On these fast lanes, over these speed bumps, sharp turns, going down to day. We all have one way, don't we know? You gotta take detours through life, through these concrete jungles. And it definitely makes me wonder how I keep from going under. I guess. It's all about elevation. Life is like traffic. Get to your destination safely. Be mindful of others. Trust your moral compass. To the new age, your GPS, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you get there. Help somebody along the way. Life is like you're in traffic. I think that has been my time, but I'm just trying to give y'all a little bit of good vibe. Thank you for those who have touched the stage. Mr. Keith Allison, Luna, Fenthrace, Super Team. I see you out there. Hey, thank you, Alpos. Thank you, Asbury. Right, right, for having me.